very busy over the next couple of days. I have a lot of work stuff to do, a lot of orders to bake. Basically, I have a vegan dessert business and have a lot of stuff to do for the next couple of days. So I thought I would film a little video of just what I eat when I'm busy and don't have a lot of time to cook. Just a little video to show you some quick, easy, healthy, but still very tasty vegan meals. <laughs> that was a mouthful. So when I don't have a lot of time to cook, I still like to make sure that my meals are going to be filling and satisfying and taste really good. So I'll give you my tips and tricks on how to still eat good when you're busy. I'm actually in the middle of some orders now. I'll show you. So these are like chocolate caramel no-bake donuts. That's only half the order. So yeah, wish me luck. It's about half eight now. I've been doing this since about half seven. I've just had an oat milk frothy coffee. It was delicious. And I'm just gonna make a quick protein smoothie because I can have that as I work. I like to put a lot of things in my smoothie to make sure they're really satisfying and are gonna keep me full and are more like an actual meal rather than just a snack. So so I will show you my current favorite smoothie recipe. It's like a chocolate almond butter protein smoothie type situation and it's so good. They taste exactly like how I remember chocolate milkshakes from McDonald's taste. And they're delicious, don't deny it. So let's make a smoothie. Okay, so I'm gonna do about one and a half frozen bananas. Then I love putting frozen courgette or zucchini if you're American. In my smoothies, I know it sounds weird, but trust me. It's really good for when you want a less sweet, more creamy smoothie. So it's good for chocolatey, caramelly flavors. And then two scoops of chocolate protein powder. Some cinnamon, absolutely a non-negotiable in a smoothie. And I do like two teaspoons because I'm obsessed with cinnamon. And some chai seeds. These are really good if you're vegan or plant-based because they're really high in omega-3s. And then I have this salted date almond butter. This stuff is unbelievably good and it goes so well in a chocolatey smoothie. I've nearly finished the tub, that's quite distressing. Not in there. And then my favorite milk to use for this smoothie is coconut milk, just because it adds a nice extra bit of sweetness, you know? A few cubes of ice to make sure it's nice and thick. And then I'm also gonna put a nice juicy medjugal date in there. And then I'll top that up with water. It's so good. Literally a chocolate milkshake, but filled with goodness. This is just perfect for me to have while I'm working. I think smoothies kind of have this stigma attached to them where people think they're just a thing you use for weight loss, but that doesn't have to be the case at all. You can pack them full of nutrients and healthy fats and fiber and protein. They can actually be really satisfying if you put enough in them. Mm, it's so good. So if you make sure you're putting the right stuff in there, they can be really nutritious and filling. And I definitely don't have a smoothie for breakfast every day. But like I said, perfect for when I'm busy and need to have it on the go. Mm. So good. Hi, so I'm just finishing up the last of the first batch of donuts. And then I'm gonna have a little break from baking. And what I've been loving doing recently is just making a big batch of some kind of salad type thing and then just keeping it in the fridge to have for a few days. So I'm gonna prep that for lunch and then I can have the leftovers in the fridge. I think I'm gonna do like a kale quinoa type salad. Um, I'm not 100% sure I'm just gonna wing it and see what we get at the end. <laughs> also wish I could eat one of these, but unfortunately they are for customers and not for me, but they smell so good.
Hi, so I'm just having a little break from baking and I'm just doing some worky stuff on my laptop. But I'm having a second bowl of that salad because my goodness, it is delicious. Mmm, it's so good. See, this is usually what happens. I will make a big batch of something to have for a few days in the fridge and I end up eating most of it in the first day. <laughs> There is still quite a lot left though. I made an extra big batch this time because I knew this would probably happen. Mmm, so good. I'm still doing work on my laptop. This is a hot water bottle, by the way, because it is about three degrees in this house. So I have my extra large. <laughs> that looks so. <laughs> that looks really weird. Oh no. <laughs> it's a very large hot water bottle. And I am just having this white chocolate peanut protein bar. They're so good. Usually with these types of things, the chocolate, like the white chocolate, can taste really artificial. But these don't. They're very, very tasty. I just have to have something sweet after a savoury meal. It's the rules. Yum. Hi, me and Jamie are about to go to the shops because there is not much in for dinner. It is slim picking, so I don't know what I want to make tonight. I'm feeling a little bit uninspired, but I think once I see things in the shop, I will get an idea of what to make. You know what I mean? It's fucking freezing today, so I am all wrapped up. I will see you soon once I've decided what I'm going to make for dinner. Hello, I'm back and I've decided to do a bit of a spin on like an Italian caprese salad. My Italian mother probably will not approve of this whatsoever, but I'm gonna do tomatoes, basil, rocket, cucumber, a bit of balsamic, and then I'm gonna put some pesto in there somewhere because I'm really obsessed with pesto at the minute. And then I'm also gonna do some tofu just for a bit of protein. I'm really in the mood for some bread, so I'm gonna have some toasted sourdough with it and maybe dip it in some balsamic and olive oil. That sounds bloody delicious so yeah let's make dinner okay we'll cut this delicious bread it's actually so lovely and soft i'm not gonna toast it i'm just gonna have it like this So good. A bit of balsamic for the bread. Mmm. It's so good. Hi, I completely forgot to film, but me and Jamie just shared these dark chocolate buttons. Very tasty. <laughs> For another snack, I'm just having chai tea and one of these homemade peanut butter protein bars. The recipes on my Instagram, they're very, very good. You should make them. I usually keep a batch in my fridge. They're delicious and very handy. Um, I'll keep trying. Wait, what are you left? I was allowed to sleep. Good morning. So before I start baking for the day, I've just made a quick little yogurt bowl. So I have soy yogurt, frozen blueberries, 
frozen. Frozen berries, fresh raspberries, chocolate soy crispies, which I get from a website called Coro, and they're so good, so crispy, and they've got lots of protein in. I had a little bit of strawberry coconut yogurt left, so I just plopped that on the top. Coconut yogurt, I am obsessed with at the minute. So thick and creamy and delicious. So a quick, tasty breakfast before I get going with my day. You've got to mix it up. It starts off so neat and then it ends up like this every single time. <laughs> so good. Frozen berries cold on the teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna watch something on my laptop and then I will get going with some baking. Mmm, you can't go wrong with the yogurt bowl. Hits every time. Delicious. So I've finished off all my orders that I needed to do for my business and then I've just done a recipe to post on my Instagram and you need to see it. Look how gorgeous this is. She's an orange and poppy seed loaf with a coconut yogurt frosting and she is gorgeous. Oh my God. I think it would be rude if we didn't give her a try. I just had a bite, I couldn't wait. <laughs> It's so good. Mm. That is a joke. Unreal. I can't stop eating it. It's so good. Mm. I am doing some Valentine's Day boxes for my Etsy shop and I've just been taking pictures of them and oh my god, they look so adorable. And now I'm gonna go food shopping with my mom. So, I'm just gonna take the leftover salad from yesterday and I'm gonna eat this in the car because I'm starving. I swear prepping a big batch of salad or anything really that's gonna last a few days in the fridge is a bloody lifesaver. Yeah, that is lunch. Hi, I'm back home and I finally have nothing to do for the rest of the day. So rejoice, the dressing gown's on. I feel like I always watch people's <laughs> YouTube videos and whenever a girl is wearing a dressing gown, they always look really sexy and like, you know, sexy housewife, relaxing at home kind of vibes. But I just look like Mrs. Brown's boys. Google image that if you don't know what that is. It's, it's not a look. <laughs> but I'm having a little snack because I am peckish. I'm having a cup of tea. Mm. And I'm having, the other day I made these caramel crunch protein bars. The recipe on my Instagram. I don't need to say that. All my recipes are on my Instagram. They're so so good mm. is it gonna focus there we go they're so so good yum hi so for dinner i'm just gonna do a quick pesto pasta shock i'm craving pesto again swear to god having it with basically all of my meals recently just one of those things that you never get sick of it's just Delicious. So I'm just going to chop up some veggies. I've got some of these shiitake mushrooms from M&S before. And then I have some of this chickpea and edamame fettuccine, which I'm going to do. I tend not to worry too much about my protein because I know overall I'm getting enough. But I have been doing a lot more strength workouts and weighted workouts and i'm wanting to build up a bit of strength so sometimes i'll do swaps like this just to make sure i'm getting enough protein maybe in three months i'll have mm, big muscles anyway yeah let's make dinner because i am a hungry hungry lady <laughs>
Yes, please. Yummy. Verdict, sir. Mm, delicioso. Delicioso. Are you Italian? <coughs> I'm very excited about this. You know, would have finished this off. A bit of vegan parmesan. I knew who was that. But we didn't have any. Mmm. That is divine. Mmm. That's a joke. This is so nice. Mmm. Delicious. Dessert is obviously some more of that delicious cake. That slice is mine because it's bigger. <laughs> Mom, I need to tell you something. Mm. Refreshing on the palate. 10 out of 10. A second helping. Would be rude not to, eh? Hi, it's the next day. I'm just taking more pictures of one of the Valentine's Day boxes. Let me show you because they're so cute. Look how adorable so these are like caramel sandwich cookies these are two different types of caramel shortbread donuts they're very very delicious and then this is a peanut butter raspberry chocolate cup type situation look how cute but i'll end the video here i hope you've enjoyed it i hope i've given you some meal ideas for when you're a bit busier and need quick recipes but ones that are also really tasty and are going to satisfy you yeah i just like to make sure that when i'm a bit busier i am still making satisfying nourishing meals that taste really good but yeah i hope you've enjoyed watching thank you for watching bye mm -hmm.